This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Today, we're going to take a look at the vertical dolly zoom effect seen here, and how you can replicate this effect in Final Cut Pro. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge, and welcome back to my channel. The effect we're looking at today is often referred to as the vertical dolly zoom effect. The subject in your frame remains in the same spot and is the same size, while the background seems to either shrink or grow. This is generally achieved by placing your camera on a dolly and moving it towards or away from the subject, while at the same time changing the focal length of the lens to reveal more or less of your background. Relatively simple to do on a movie set with all the necessary equipment and a film crew, but if you film by yourself, not so much. In this video, we're going to learn how to fake this effect using Final Cut Pro. What you will need for this effect is a reasonably stable shot moving towards or away from a subject. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the smoother the motion in your shot, the better it's going to look. Also, film in a higher resolution than your project, just so you have extra pixels to work with. Import this clip into Final Cut Pro and add it to your timeline. Move your playhead to either the start or the end of your clip, wherever your subject is the biggest, and add a keyframe to all the transform parameters. Next, we need to go to the start of our clip and move and resize it so our subject is the same size. To make this easier, let's add something for reference. What I'll use for this is a custom Better Shapes Generator, which you can download for free from my website, or you could also use the built-in Shapes Generator that comes with Final Cut Pro. Place it over your clip and move and resize it so it's roughly the same size as your subject. Select your video clip, move your playhead to the start, and use the transform tool to line up your subject with the reference generator. Right click on each control point and change from smooth to linear. Here's our finished effect. Another great use for the vertigo effect is to bring extra depth to your drone shots and add a parallax effect. Let me show you. Down in my timeline, I have a drone shot I downloaded from Envato Elements. Select this clip in your timeline, and from the Transform Tool drop-down menu, select Crop. At the bottom of the Viewer window, select the Can Burns effect. Leave the start frame as is, and resize and reposition your end frame. Click Done for this cool effect. Let's try one more clip, and this time, instead of the Can Burns effect, we'll use the Transform tool and take it even further by adding a bit of rotation to our shot. But before we do, let's take a minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, Envato Elements. This is your one-stop shop for millions of assets for your next project. For one low monthly fee, you get unlimited downloads of stock footage and images, royalty-free music and sound effects, video templates, custom plugins, and so much more. This is one subscription service I use in every single one of my videos, and trust me, it's worth every penny. Try it out, you won't regret it. Now, back to Final Cut Pro. In this next clip, the drone is moving forward, so we'll have to start with the clip scaled in. Select the clip in your timeline, press the up arrow key to move the playhead to the start, and select the Transform tool. Use the on-screen controls to set the rotation of your clip to negative five degrees, Scale your clip up to about 160% and reposition your clip. Add a keyframe here. Press the down arrow key to move your playhead to the end of the clip. Change your rotation to positive 5 degrees and move your clip back to the middle of the frame. Bring down the scale until your image just fits in the frame, around 115%. Right click on each control point and change the movement type to linear. Click Done. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button or in the comments below. And a huge thank you to Envato Elements for making videos like this possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.